Richard Burgess. Oh, Richard Burgess. Now, who's he? Well, he lived about over a hundred years ago. Anyway. He's from London. And he lived in London in the 1820s. And he was a scoundrel. Absolute scoundrel. And he uh, was a thief and a vagabond and a rogue. And he ended up getting busted. And so they put him on a convict hulk and they sent him off to the Van Diemen's land. And uh, from there he graduated into highway robbery and general skullduggery, robbing miners and stuff like that. Anyway, after doing his time in Australia, he ended up in the gold fields of Otago. And I think he arrived in the port, in the port of Dunedin about 1850 or something like that. And, um, yeah, he ended up in the gold fields and he generally just went around ripping off the gold diggers, highway robbery and stuff like that. But uh, he ended up going up the coast, up to Greymouth and Pokotuka, because there was a gold rush to, to there too in the 1860s, and um, same sort of thing, and he met up with these other real looking shady characters, though. they're all shady characters, four of them, and they got on this boat. And they sailed out of grey. Oh, first of all, they did this blick and robbery in grey, and they actually killed this guy, and they only got a few nuggets of gold. This guy lost his life. And so anyway, they took off, and they got a boat up to Nelson, and they sailed into Nelson, and uh, heard about the gold rush over in Canvas Town, or the Waka Marina, what the, what the river's called. And uh, so they, with uh, a villainous intent on their mind, proceeded to go over to Canvas Town to see if they could rip somebody off over there. So they got over to Canvas Town, they couldn't find anybody to rip off, but they heard that there was this guy from up the Walker Marina who had a big sack of gold and he was taking it back over the Mangatapu saddle back into Nelson to sell his gold. So this guy Richard Burgess and these three other guys he was with, who were real bad beggars, one was called Kelly, the other was called Sullivan, and the other one was called Levi. And so they went up the Mangatapu saddle, which was the saddle between the Porus and uh, the Nelson Haven, which was the main road through to Nelson then. And they waited up there behind this rock. I think they got up, they were up there for a couple of days before these guys came through from Canvas Town. And they, there was about four of them came through, came through the saddle and they uh, rode their horses and they had gold with them. And when they got up to the top of the Mangatapu saddle, these scoundrels were hiding behind this rock, Richard Burgess and his mates, and they uh, they jumped out from behind the rock and killed a whole lot of them. They killed four guys, blew them away, stole all their gold, shot their horses, and then went down into Nelson and partied up, which was a yeah, highly intelligent thing to do. These guys were not that intelligent, really. <coughs> and anyway, there they are, leering it up in Nelson, 1860, and you know, there's not a hang of a lot of people around there expecting these guys to come over from Canvas Town, but they never arrived, so they got a bit sus and had a look up there and they actually found the bodies and stuff like that. They hunted down these four guys who were to be called the Mangatapu murderers. And they caught all four of them, Sullivan, Levi, Kelly, and Burgess. And they caught all four of them. And because these guys, they just played big news. No, we don't know anything about it. But um, they got Sullivan to turn state's evidence and he testified against the other three and for that he got his freedom. So he was just a, a, a traitor. Sullivan was the traitor. So anyway, Kelly, Levi and Richard Burgess ended up in the old Nelson jail which is up, which was up behind the main cathedral in Nelson. And they were tried and they were hung on the gallows there and their bodies were buried just up behind the School of Music in Nelson. And this, that's where they lay today, in unmarked graves. And of course there was the death masks that they took of them, which were in the museum. A mask, a mould taken of their faces after they'd been hung. And one of the moulds even has of the, of, I think it's of, of Burgess's head. You can actually see the rope marks in his throat. <laughs> yeah, man. So there you go. Our own little 
Ned Kelly, who probably nobody out of Nelson has ever heard of. <laughs> it's a local history, but it's, uh, it's real bleak and wild west shit, isn't it?